Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 26. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Alright, welcome to the Superbike 1000. This is going to be insane. So we are in the GSX-R1000 racing modifier instead of the uh, 600 racing modifier. There's obviously the 600, the 750, and the 1000. But what we're going to do today is we're doing this championship. This is five races, starting off Laguna Seca, then Infineon, then the Twin Ring, then uh, Suzuka, and then this circuit. What's it called? I don't even know the name. But this circuit, you get the picture. So we're going to be going around these tracks today. Um... Yeah, let's do it. I think this will be split into two videos, maybe, because it might be too long. But let's just see how it goes. All right, here we go. Laguna Seca Raceway. Let's do this. I have a feeling we are going to fall off plenty of times today. So, uh, wish me luck. Woohoo. Oh. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. So we got 10 seconds to gain on this superbike. Which is quite a lot of time when you think about it. But this bike is insanely fast, so shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Oh, we just gave him the speed boost. Okay, watching out for this corner because this one is risky. Look at that time, though. Four seconds. Ah, uh, that was rubbish. That was time lost, definitely there. Oh, that was horrific. That was horrific. Way too much speed in the corner. Again, we're aiming for three wins and two seconds. Um... So that we can get a win overall. That's all we need is just a win overall. Awesome. I always resort to the Suzuki whenever I'm doing these bike races. Because I just prefer Suzukis. It's the look of the bike. They look better to me. Oh, what the hell was that? What the fuck? Unbelievable. And we're now in fourth place. This is the most dangerous track ever. It is horrific. And I know I'm going to get a second place for this now. There is no way I'm going to... I mean, I could catch up eight seconds... But it means I need to be on point with everything. Obviously, that little mistake, I think, actually might have gained me time rather than lost it. Which is very surprising. That is really good. Nice, nice. I love these bike games so much. It might just be because it's Taurus Trophy. And obviously it's Gran Turismo. So it's got that same style. Which makes it fun to play. Uh, 
I'm surprised though that Gran Turismo 5 went completely the opposite direction to Gran Turismo 4. I'm so surprised that Polyphony done that. Because Gran Turismo 4 overall was a better game. And obviously the internet did exist then. So five years after that game coming out, you would have thought with the response that people had, you would have thought it would have been a bit different. But uh, no, apparently not. And the fact is, online blogs and FAQs and all that were a massive thing back then. Obviously, nowadays, it's just like you watch a YouTube review. You don't really go onto websites and see that. But there are still pages of Gran Turismo 4 reviews just there that you can see. You search up Gran Turismo 4, you'll get reviews from 2004, 2005. Which is insane. And that's how they built hype, was IGN reviews and stuff like that. I don't know if IGN was a thing back then, I think it was. Awesome. We are in first, but we've also got a bike trying to knock us off of our own bike. So... Yeah, there was no chance. But, that did just get us a huge amount of time ahead of the other bike. Because we crashed at the upper bit, so it put us at the lower bit. That was decent, I will take that. Nice. Oh, slow down, slow down. Ah, <laughs> jeez. That was close. I was worried I was going to go too far then. Right, we got one more chance to go down the corkscrew. Nice. Amazing. Still waiting, as of the time we're recording, still waiting on a PS5 release date. And the Series X, of course, all of it. Still waiting on a release date. Come on, Sony, come on, Microsoft. Let's get those dates so we know when we need to break a massive hole in our bank balance. Nice. Awesome. There we go. Ta-da! Seven minutes, 50.557. Oh, that was insane. That was crazy. I don't even know what the next track is, but it's probably just as crazy. All right, welcome to race number two on the Infineon Raceway. This is going to be a fairly decent race. I quite like, I really like this track. So let's go and do this. Hopefully, we're going to get a good time. Oh, okay. Nice. 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 
obviously we've been around Infineon a couple of times now. And it's always been very sort of risky going around it. Because we've fallen off a couple of times before. And these haven't been like little falls. They've been enough. I think one of them we actually got a 10 second penalty. And I think it was on the corner we'd just been on. A 10 second penalty as well as falling off of our bike. We ended up going from behind, like, right on the tail, like, here, to first place, to being in fourth. Okay, that was a little bit scary going through there at that speed. Amazing. It's surprising that Dodge is actually on the side of the Infinium Raceway in this game because this game is a bike game with bikes. Something that Dodge doesn't make as far as I'm aware. That is the first time I've fallen off at that corner. Okay, so we are going to have to watch out for that then. We can't go too far over. Because uh, apparently this bike doesn't like that corner. If you see sparks, you've gone too far. Right, lift a little bit. Perfect. And then over here, we break into third. Ah, oh, crazy lines through there. We're going to easily, if we rely on a little bit of late braking. Oh, no. That's been a massive crash between two bikes. That was not intentional whatsoever. We tried late braking and it was just way too late. How did I manage that? Okay. Unbelievable. I fell over that second time because I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't ready to take back control of my bike. That's probably the wrong thing to say when you're driving. Oh yeah, I wasn't ready to take control of a massive machine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I see first place just up ahead, so it's not like it's going to be the end of the world. We are on a super powerful 1000cc bike. Much more powerful than the rest of them, actually. Because uh, this is like a super bike style, not one of those big things. Oh, that was the, the wrong button to press. Yeah, that thing is massive compared to ours. Okay, slow down much earlier. Not that early, apparently. I think that's an Aprilia. Aprilia. Very nice. I'm going to slam hard onto the brakes here. Awesome. Right, looking for the braking zone for this corner. Look how wide we go. The turning circle bikes are horrendous. Right, need to watch out for this section. Make sure we're as upright as possible. 
that was good. And ready on the brakes here. Perfect. This is going to be our fastest lap yet, easily. Because we're actually going to break it a decent time this time. Where are we looking for? Okay, we went wide. That also means we get more speed through here now. Nice. Looking for the brakes to get around this corner here. Tiny little corner, tiny little corner. Perfect. Across the line with a one minute forty one point seven. Very good. I've just seen how far ahead we actually are. Eight point two seconds. Nice. This is really good. Whoa, nearly fell off there. I think as well, because uh, this is this track is a um, part of the NASCAR deal. The bleh, can't speak. DLC for um, Forza Motorsport 6. So I may end up having to get all the DLCs for those games as well to play them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because obviously we still need to work out how we're going to do the uh, massive Forza series. But uh, it is confirmed 1 to 4 is definitely going to be done. Here we go, across the line. Wow, the AI can't even take a corner without crashing. Horrific. 8 minutes 43 for that. That was very good. We got ourselves 20 points so far as well. I think next up is the twin ring Mategi. So that will take about 10 minutes to do that race. And then I think afterwards is Suzuka, which will take 12. Right, here we go. The Twin Ring Mategi Road Course. Let's do this. Hopefully, we can have a good race here. Obviously, in the 125cc, um, we had a questionable race. Th that race, I will not forget. That is like the peak of the series was that race. Absolutely insane final lap. Okay, we definitely need to break earlier. Probably at the start of the 150 board, maybe. Oh, rubbish. Okay, we've lost a lot of time now. Let's see if we can regain it. Why are there no curbs on the inside there? That is a good shout. Obviously, there's curbs on the apex, but there's an apex for that corner. 
You would expect a curb there, at least. Right, so obviously this track is a little bit slower for me to gain that time back. But I know this bike is quick in terms of acceleration. So this exit out of this corner, I'm going to floor it and go past this bike. And we're looking at 7.6 seconds behind right now. By the time we finish this, we'll have a less... In fact, no. Yeah, we'll have nine events left to do. Nine championships. Hang on. Let me do maths. Yeah, nine championships. Because 22 is the last one. So, hopefully, I should be able to get this series done by Saturday. Maybe Sunday. It would be nice to see it done by Saturday. Because then that means I can have a couple of days off. Great. Thank you. I forgot to break. I can then have a couple of days off before I go away for um, a couple of weeks. I can have myself a two, three week holiday. Two or three weeks. Yeah. I probably will end up doing that anyways. Because like, you know, I've been working non-stop on this for well over three, four months now. Maybe since lockdown started just going at it, trying to make something out of it. Awesome. We go into here and let's see the acceleration of this bike. We've gone wide, but we've managed to save it. Just about rescued that corner there. Perfect. That is lap numero dos done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, don't you dare fight me back, bike. Whoa, that was a nice wheelie. How to show off on your bike. I definitely need to go into, like, actual photo mode rather than using the best shot and try and get a picture of me doing a wheelie in a thumbnail. Oh, that's the first time we've done that corner decently. Hey. Congrats to me. Awesome. Perfect. Very nice. Just cruising our way to this breaking zone. I definitely started breaking too early there. Out of fear for overshooting the corner and ruining my race again. I definitely don't want to have to do a 125cc race again like this. Like that. Because if this race turns into that, I will cry. Lap number three done. On to numero four.
Amazing. Right, looking out for the distance boards. We're looking for the 150 now. And that was nearly perfect. If we didn't lose the tail end then at the end, could have been could have been worse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go, nice. Awesome. Let's do another wheelie. Showing off. Okay, I need to go back down. Thank you. If I didn't get back down, I think I would have done a front wheelie. Just from the force of dropping the bike back down. Would have sent me into a front wheelie easily. And crap, I've just noticed the time and the uh, distance. We are on the final lap already. I'm probably going to overshoot this recording session. Uh, I've still got two races left to do and I need to do them. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, there goes the uh, chance of a best lap on the last lap. It's going to be awesome to get a um, sticker on this bike that says, number one, this is the fastest bike. Perfect. I don't understand how it takes a minute to go through all of those corners, but to go down two short straights and three corners takes another minute as well. Does not make sense in my head. Here we go though. You can see the colour of the rear tyres right now is just like so dark and so not wanting anything. It's just like I can't be asked anymore. We go to the finish. We'll do a wheelie to the end. Awesome. Apparently, my rider doesn't know how to go back down from a wheelie, though. But 10 minutes and 7 seconds. That was a very good race. G fucking G. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a